So let's delve further into how the rate hike decision by the Federal Reserve might impact the South Korean economy. We have our Kim Jion, who's at the Bank of Korea, on the phone for us. So, Jion, the consensus is that the impact of the Fed's decision on the South Korean economy will be rather limited. That's right, Mark. BOK Governor Lee Jio told reporters earlier this morning that he does not interpret the move by the Fed as a sign of preferring aggressive fiscal measures despite the Fed's decision to raise its growth trajectory for the U.S. economy. Authorities at the BOK say they, there were no Im immediate signs of capital flight from the country since the move by the U.S. Fed has been widely expected. It also pointed to Korea's strong fundamentals with the economy forecast to grow 3% this year on booming exports. But the BOK says further tapering of U.S. assets could impact Korea's interest rates in the long term and to counter such risks. But the BOK has already raised its in benchmark interest rate by a quarter percent to 1.5% last month, its first rate hike in nearly seven years. Although the move has been widely expected, it has raised concerns that the rate hike would increase the burden of 1.3 trillion U.S. dollar household debt, since it would severely affect homeowners' ability to repay their debts and raise the risk of people defaulting on their housing loans. And the BOK played down the possibility of worsening household debt issues, saying the government is laying out countermeasures, and this refers to a series of measures earlier this year to curb housing speculation by making it harder for people with multiple houses to borrow money to buy real estate. While the BOK dismissed the possibility that a rate gap is the sole reason for a capital flight, it says such a decision will be made only after taking into account various factors, including the recovery pace of the local economy, inflation prices, financial stability, and risks, shaking off market expectations that will raise rates in February or in July next year when the new BOK governor is announced. The Bank of Korea has previously projected that the Fed would raise rates up to three times next year and vow to take preemptive measures to manage external risks by strengthening its monitoring of the nation's financial markets and coming up with countermeasures. Back to you, Mark.